Welcome back camping enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to be checking out the best motorcycle gloves that you can buy today. There's no single style of motorcycle glove because there's no single style of motorcycle riding. But every rider needs a good glove. First, especially for the street, look for a slider at the outside heel of the palm. You need that because that's the first contact zone that'll hit the ground when you take a fall as you extend your hands instinctively to protect yourself. Our team of camping experts have spent hours researching and testing motorcycle gloves. These are listed in order based on performance, quality, and price, and there is an option for every type of camper. So if you're looking for the best motorcycle gloves, we'll have the product for you in this list. We've included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which are in your budget range. Now let's get on with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Clem Induction Street Motorcycle Gloves. Finding a lower profile full Gore-Tex glove that isn't a gauntlet style can be tough, but if you regularly battle wet conditions, your coat sleeve likely already comes down over your wrist, so you want less bulk here. That's what makes this Clem so perfect. It also features a large protected palm slider, reflective surfaces for higher visibility, carbon fiber across the knuckle and goat leather that helps the palm form to your hand. The soft goat leather and outside box stitching of the seams make for a snug, but buttery smooth fitment. I found they hardly needed any break-in, with the gloves being super comfortable straight out the box. The fingers and palms of the gloves are pre-curved. I'm not sure how they do this and what the mean standard curve angle is for a finger, but it works and adds to the overall comfort and fitment of the glove. I have clocked up maybe 5,000 kilometers of summer riding in these gloves, and they have been great. No issues, nice and comfortable, grippy, and still in great shape. If you are looking for a pair of summer or hot weather riding gloves, get the Clem Inductions and thank me later. And at number 4 is the Danaz Carbon 3 Short Leather Motorcycle Gloves. The Carbon 3 comes as either a short or long model. The longer gauntlet version rises higher on the wrist, which may work better, depending on your go-to riding jacket. We've been testing this glove for about a year, and we love its excellent protection with a pre-curved design that allows easy articulation for fanning the clutch or subtle brake inputs. One reason your digits will feel spoiled by the Carbon 3, it's a goatskin glove, and that leather, versus synthetic or cowlide, along with the sheepskin palm, offers pliability and lack of bulk that's just kinder and comfier for all-day use. Then Danis welds on ample protection, with carbon knuckle guards, leather across the outer fingers, and a polyurethane slider at the base of the palm. There's even a wrap of leather around the pinky and another hard thermoplastic resin slider to protect the small finger knuckle if that takes the brunt of a slide. The third product on our list is the Gerbing 12V Vanguard Heated Motorcycle Gloves. Heated grips are great, but they don't necessarily penetrate though your gloves. Heating the glove directly can be a better solution. These work via a simple 12-volt connection and the heat runs through the fingers, not just the palm. They also feature armor at the knuckle and a significant palm slider. The most unexpected thing about the Vanguard heat production is how subtle yet effectively warm it is. I envisioned feeling hot spots on the inside of the gloves against my skin, but that never happened. Indeed, the net effect is that regardless of the outside temperature, my hands feel just as warm as they would in my regular non-heated gloves during a 23 degrees Celsius summer day. I appreciate these gloves and highly recommend them anytime someone asks me about heated gear. I'm the kind of person who will pay more for quality, because I like to be comfortable and for my gear to function at the highest level. I appreciate companies that stand behind their products with a solid warranty and customer service. I like the way these Vanguard gloves don't look like anything other than a typical leather motorcycle glove with super fabric patches on them, and yet their secret identity as a warming friend makes them special. Remember that we have the links in the description for all the products mentioned on this list, so don't forget to check them out. And at number 2 on the list is the Alpina Stars GP Plus RV2 gloves. If you're riding the interstate, you're exposed to all sorts of danger, even if your bike has hand guards. Alpina Stars makes this no compromises glove with those hazards in mind, and focuses on long mile comfort too. The palm stretches to reduce hand fatigue, and the fingers are pre bent, following the natural curve of your digits. Speaking of which, there's armor in every finger bend and carbon armor across the bridge of the knuckles. That zone is also vented to pull in air beneath the carbon fiber plate. These gloves have it all going for them. Fantastic tactility and dexterity. 
day-long comfort, superb ergonomics, and good all-round protection. They are innately versatile motorcycle gloves for practically all riding duties, but their protective performance falls short of what we expect of in top-end racing gloves. For the money, and as long as you intend to use these gloves for road riding purposes, they have a lot to offer and will absolutely reward you with countless miles of smiles. The best motorcycle gloves are the Danae's Full Metal 6 Valentino Men's Motorcycle Leather Gloves. Once you don the Full Metal 6, you'll wonder how you could wear anything less. Sure, these are the most protective gloves you could own. They're shielded with carbon inserts at the backs of the index, middle, and second finger joints, thermoplastic zones wrap around the little finger and composite inserts, and titanium plating cocoons the knuckles and back of the hand. Another carbon composite protector stands ready at the ulmar nerve of your wrist, and we're not done. There's even more carbon fiber protecting the joints of the thumb and a thermoplastic slider at the heel of the hand. If you're going to eat pavement, do it in these gloves. But what's so counterintuitive is that the Full Metal 6 is profoundly hand-friendly. Dainese's achieved massive comfort by adding elastic zones everywhere your hand needs to articulate, pre-curving the bend of the fingers, adding a second fastener at the base of the hand as well as the one at the wrist, which lessens fatigue by preventing the glove from swimming around on your hand, and using ultra-soft drum-dyed goatskin leather to create a very pliable palm. If you're waiting for a downside, there's only one. Dines didn't add a touchscreen material to the index finger. Probably, we're guessing. It's because this mitt is all about the business of riding, not mixing your tech life and your moto life. Thanks for watching, that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.